was that? Ah! Uh, no, I mean you shooting at me! Ah! 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 Oh my Jesus! Got one? Down that path? Tango down! Tango down! Hello everyone and welcome back. For today's video, we're going to be looking at the T238 Griffin Tactical Tracer Unit, as you see here. Um, before we get into the actual review, T238 is uh, a company based out of Germany. I think in my last video I said China. The Some of their products are manufactured in China, but the actual company, as far as I understand, is based out of Germany. They make products for Nerf guns, gel blasters, and airsoft guns. For airsoft, they make tracers, um, Spitfire tracers, and RGB tracers, which are the red, green, blue ones. Electronic trigger units, as well as uh, MOSFETs, brushless motors, and trigger units themselves. As far as my affiliation with T238, um, this tracer unit and the last one I reviewed have been sent to me. However, I'm not receiving any money, um, and the only conditions was they would send me a tracer unit to test out and see how I like. So I've run it through two games so far, and I haven't really come up with any issues. This tracer unit itself is going for $43.87 USD as of the time of this recording, which compared to the like flagship tracer unit for Airsoft currently, which is... Uh, Ace Tech, these things are cheaper. Um, even to their, their cheapest unit, they're in line with it. So getting straight into the unboxing, compared to their last one, the box is actually a lot nicer. It, again, it's just packaging though. As for like it being packaged itself, this one just says what's on it. The last So for this one, you'll open it up. This one actually comes with a uh, user manual and a little pamphlet essentially. Um, not really needed, but it would have been nice to have the first one come with this, and I'm assuming most of their tracer units now are coming. This is their newer unit, again, the same white foam that the other ones are packed with. You get your charging cable, and then you get your tracer unit itself. It's smaller than the other one, but it's the same like aluminum composite, not composite, it's the same aluminum that the other one's made out of. These things are strong, and the other one I beat the shit out of. They are waterproof, and I haven't submerged them. Rain, harsh weather, cold, and extreme heat temperatures, they hold up to it. This one's more sleek, straight black. You got your actual tracer muzzle flash on the front, and then your tracer units on the inside, which we'll get into that. The big difference with this one, compared to the other tracer units, is their other ones use a, I think it's a 22 millimeter like hole opening and then they have thread adapters that go in and then you set screw them in. This one has straight 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread already threaded into the unit itself. So there's no other additional parts you have to worry about. And then the same thing with all their other tracer units, it's just a one click button on and then you can cycle through all the settings. And then the pamphlet itself will go through those other settings as well. The first noticeable thing is this thing's actually kind of small. I have Ace Tech's, this is probably the smallest tracer unit that I was able to find on the market, which is the Ace Tech Brighter C, and it's almost comparable to that size. Uh, that noise was the Ace Tech. I'll get into something that I like with these over a lot of Ace Tech's devices. The first thing, going into it, just as an overview, single button, turns it on, that's tracer and flash. If you look into it, you'll see the tracer unit. The next click is just your tracer, and then the last click is your, just your muzzle flash. Your fourth click in succession is to turn it off. So the tracer unit itself can support up to 50 rounds per second. I do not have a gun that shoots that fast. I think the fastest one I tried was my Ronin with an 11.1 was 38, just shy of 40, and it I didn't have any issues with it lighting up the tracer rounds. After 20 minutes, it auto shuts off. I didn't have any issues with that. The pickup games I used it in, I didn't have it like offset that much, so I was able to just 
in between rounds when I'd go in, just click it at the start of the game. Or for some examples you see here at bigger events that last longer, um, I would get in an engagement, shoot, realize the tracer wasn't on, just click it. It's just a simple, you know, draw the muzzle back, click the button, you're straight on. Um, it does come with a 30 milliamp battery that supports up to 15,000 rounds before needing a charge. I didn't really see that, but I also didn't see it not last that long. Again, with this unit, the one issue I had is it didn't seem to matter how many rounds I shot through it. After four hours of use consecutively, it would eventually just die out. I didn't have that issue with their other tracer unit. Um, four hours isn't, especially for pickup games with like indoor fields or night games where you'd be using the tracer unit, four hours added up consecutively of like actual game time isn't that bad. I, I think it might just be a deficiency with the circuit board that's in mine, but I didn't have any issues where it didn't work. It would just be, I had one long game that I played and about four hours of game time into the day. I think it was about six hours of actual time being at the field. It finally died on me. And then it also comes in a matte and silver. I opted for the the matte black as it's, they call it the T238 Griffin. It looks like the Griffin armament blast can, um, which compared to the other ones, they are going more to the tactical side to fit the American airsoft market, which I do enjoy and I am appreciative that they do this. Pros and cons, pro, it's small, streamlined, and it fits really well onto any rifle, big, small, depending on certain guns. I like the other T238 that had the insert because I could put it over something that didn't have a threaded muzzle and just use one of the other threaded inserts to set screw the tracer unit on there. This one for something where you have 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads, you don't have to worry about trying to align your set screw or your uh, thread insert with the actual device itself. It's just thread on, thread off, because I change these around my rifles. Big con for me, the only one that I can say is I don't like the waterproof cap for the uh, charging unit. Compared to the other ones, you don't have to take it apart to charge it. That was probably my biggest con on the other ones is they have to be disassembled to charge. This one, you just remove this. You can lose this piece. My only concern is like this piece getting lost. Um, it does create a watertight seal, but I haven't had any issues. I haven't lost it yet. And I have some scratches on here. This lens hasn't actually been shot out. Not too bad of it. So for my videos and the firing test, I use this on my KWA LM4. My, both were the Mega Arms versions. One was the 10.3 inch and the other one was the full carbine length, the 16 inch barrel. I didn't have any issues with it. So getting into what I like, so here I have my Ace Tech Brighter C. I have this one to go into the uh, Mark II Predator suppressor that uh, Ace Tech has for my scar that's sitting over there. Um, things that I don't like about this is this isn't button actuated, it's just shake awake and it you can't, either, you can't have it on the gun if you don't plan on using the tracer because it's just gonna burn out the battery. Especially for me where I go to like events where it's day into night, I like having my devices on my rifle. So the fact that this auto turns on and drains the battery when I'm not trying to use it compared to this where I can have this on my rifle all day and then when night comes down and I throw my nods on, I can click it right away. The muzzle flash is extremely bright on this and their other one, um, especially for as small as it is. I didn't really notice it or personally, like I don't notice the muzzle flash while I'm using it, but do have players coming up and saying like it, it is intimidating and it will blind and disrupt people as much as like a flashlight being shined to them. If you don't like that option, again, you can disable it by going through and you have your muzzle flash with tracer, just tracer. So you get tracer BBs, no muzzle flash. Or if you don't have tracer BBs and you want to have the battery last a little longer, you could have just the muzzle flash. And then again, you're off. I did use this thing under nods and the players I went against. It's one thing to play against somebody with nods and you don't have nods, but having somebody that has a muzzle flash device with tracers and not seeing them and just having this thing rip at you, from what I was told is a very, very intimidating experience. Um, while using with nods, as you see, there's a lot of splash to it. I didn't have it, like I barely even noticed it through my night vision. It's the same as like when you're shooting an unsuppressed rifle under nods. So for somebody who's using night vision and this is something you're considering, um, it's it's really not that bad. I even use some of the test BBs from from Blue Mag, their uh, night vision or their infrared tracer BBs, and they worked fine in this. 
So there's something to take into mind. I like the muzzle flash because it's, in my opinion, it's just like a cool factor, especially because I run a lot of gas blowback rifles. Um, and even with AEGs I've run it on, um, it is an intimidating thing, especially indoors. Something to take into mind is that it does give away your position um, to other people you may not be engaging or people you're engaging at distance. I don't really, one, I don't find a huge issue with that. And two, I like the additive of like, especially under nods, when I shoot, somebody knows exactly where it's coming from and I have to engage and then reposition. That's just something to take into mind. Um, it's just another cool factor. Honestly, in my opinion, tracers aren't for everybody, but for people that want tracers, these things are extremely affordable and they're durable. Um, I'll bring over my other T238 tracer unit over here that I've run. I've beat the living hell out of that thing. I've used it day and night in the rain in extreme cold weather and extreme heat and that thing's held up um so there, there's really no problems with it so the first tracer unit that t238 sent me was this one as you can see it's a little beat up they are extremely ruggedized as you can see i've beat the living hell out of this thing and it's it's held up pretty well the only difference i did is your inserts on these i did uh put the thread adapter on my rifle and then punch pin it just so the i was having issues where it was slipping off of the smooth material on the thread insert. It's only complaint with this one, and then also having to take it apart. Um, they're made out of the same aluminum or chinesium. It's a little bit, especially like the Ace Tech ones are like high quality, and it's it's hard to tell on the video, but the actual like anodized and the material is just it feels nicer and it feels more robust. Like. I've dropped rifle, like I've dropped this thing, I've hit it, no issues on this thing. I'm kind of actually worried about it breaking, which is nice why it has the tracer, um, the suppressor shell for it. But as you can see for size comparison, this is, like I said, one of the smallest tracers on the market that's attached by the muzzle. The 238 uh, Griffin, which is like damn near the same size. And then your, two, two, your T238 Spitfire tracer unit, the original one. Um, just a comparison though, so you have like your muzzle flash here, and then your muzzle flash to the uh, new one. This one is definitely brighter. Like this thing from people was like scary and bright, but I mean this thing, this thing's got some ass to it. Just kind of like closing out. Tracers aren't for everybody in airsoft, but especially you play indoor, you, you get a little low light. Or like I even ran this one at uh, the mass, which is more of a mount site, like going in and out of buildings. It works really well. For how well it brightens tracers, the other T38 one and this Ace Tech Brighter C, like Ace Tech is known for good tracers, and the other T3, T238 one, like, it illuminates the tracer BBs just as well, but if you, as you can see from the footage, like this thing is just a slight notch above these other two. Like it just, it does a little bit better. Like these things aren't bad, and anybody who knows tracers and airsoft, like Ace Tech is kind of like the flagship, like the standard, the bar. Um, and this thing's just a little bit brighter than that brighter C. And the biggest thing being is these two things run, the thing's like 36 and some change USD. This one's 35 USD, and this thing's 45. But the one thing to consider is this is just the micro like pistol tracer or the one that goes inside of any other muzzle devices. Um, these both have your Spitfire units that your actual like muzzle flash with the tracer. And anything like this from Ace Tech is gonna run you almost in the high 80s, 90s to $100. Whereas these are all, these are both under $50. This one's under 40. Um, so it is something to take into mind, especially when looking at tracers. I hope this video helped you guys, um, and I hope you enjoyed some of the reel. If you guys want to see some gameplay with this, I have two videos out already where I've ran it at two separate fields, and I have more footage coming with it. If you would like, the links in the description for this and T238's website is there, as well as they have this on their website. If you want kind of the same thing, but you don't really care for your Griffin Tracer device, look, the spit can, if you like the bigger, chunkier uh, suppressor look. Um, they got what you're looking for, and you don't really worry about painting these, just make sure you cover up the uh, acrylic covers for them. So, without further ado, guys, hope you have a good day.